Okay, welcome back everyone. Uh, about two seconds passed from the end of last episode to the beginning of this episode. Uh, I was not really ready for this pull at all, but, you know, it, things happen. <laughs> what is this guy back there? Oh, there's a big guy back there. Let's get that guy. Uh, we don't have a soul stone up anymore, unfortunately, so that's, that's kind of scary. But we will be okay. I'm going to go ahead and heal us up a little bit. I went ahead and cast an Empiric Embrace in this guy, just to get a little health going for everyone. Oh, what is what is this debuff? Oh, Curse of Tongues, right. Increasing casting time by 60%. Nice. Good job, Warlock. So still need to do some more buffs. I'm also not in shadow form yet, I, you may have noticed. I, I haven't had a chance to actually swap over to that. Uh, let's do some more buffs. Let's go ahead and put a Fear Word on this guy. And let's switch into shadow form, finally. I guess that's mostly all I needed. I would like to put a wizard oil on my dagger. And what else? Um, finish this guy off. Soul stone is down for 25 more minutes, just FYI all. Yeah, I hope everyone recognizes that we don't have soul stone. So, um, we, you know, at the end of last episode, you may recall, we wiped. Thankfully, I had soul stone. Unfortunately, they had just cast it on me. So, uh, it's gonna be down for a while. But we'll be okay. Let's drink up. If we go to the right, isn't there something here, like a, a quest or something? I forget if anyone needs it or not, but... There is a quest to the right. Not sure anyone has it. Yeah, I don't know if anyone has the quest. I don't think the boss actually drops anything except for the quest. Maybe I'm wrong, but I guess we'll find out shortly. I am getting some decent experience here. We're, what, 10, 20, 30, 5%? Um, <clears throat> I'm not sure which way, if this is like only for the, the quest or not. Oh! Rare spawn, actually. I think it's a rare spawn. I, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Whatever. I'm just throwing dots. I don't know what's going on. I have no experience here. <laughs> huh. I'm having a terrible memory day, apparently. Yeah, I'm like totally forgetting everything, so just ignore me. Anyone that's listening to this is probably like, oh my gosh, this guy has no idea what he's doing. And it's moderately true. I have not a lot of idea of what I'm doing, but, you know, that happens. He dropped some quite nice items. Lore Grain. Pyromancer Lore Grain. This guy's healing himself. What a scumbag. Oh, he's a medic, of course. That makes sense. This is just, I'm not even going to spend mana on this guy. He's a non-elite. Um, yeah, so I think he must ca drop caster gear, so let's hope for some good stuff for priests and no one else. The problem is, if it's shadow stuff, I'll be competing against the warlock. If it's healing stuff, I may be competing against the druid. If it's generic spell damage, I'll be competing against the mage and warlock and possibly druid. <laughs> the warrior's getting anything that's remotely good for him. Um, Okay, so we're gonna focus then we're gonna burn down the big guy. I should keep in mind I have stone form. I, I forgot that when we were in the When we were in the what was it Ring of Law or the arena or whatever, I should have stone formed out of that disease. And I wasn't that was last episode. I just wasn't thinking through uh, what I was doing. I'm looking forward to nuking the boss though. Drop in all the nukes. Oh, I didn't get a crit on that mind blast, that's too bad, I was hoping for a nice big crit. I am gonna just, like, go hard on the, uh, mind flay here instead of wanding. I have wand now, it's almost dead. But I guess we'll go for the... Mail, wow. The one junk gear that can drop, I think, from that guy. Lame. Oh well, it's easy to get to the boss, I mean, it really was, right? We did not work hard to get there. Steering scale leggings, these would be... Shaman? Or hunt? DPS Shaman or Hunt? I don't, gosh, who would wear that? Hunter? It's fire resist gear, so it has potential use in Molten Core, but 
it's not even great stat allocation as is, so. Uh, this would be a quest thing here, but I don't have it. So. Maledict leveled up. 55 grats. Good for him. Okay. Now, on our map, we are roughly here. Here-ish. It's kind of... Oh, here, here. Sorry. Here. It's kind of hard to explain it, but yeah. Warder Stilgus is over here, which is, I think, the vault. Yeah, the vault. Then we get around the vault. We can go to this way to Phineas and then Lord Incendia. Something like that. It's, it's a mess. It's a mess. We can make it happen, though. Uh, I see a lot of people are actually getting damaged. Like, uh, a few people are kind of hurt, and I'm gonna... Go ahead and do some healing on people here. Oh, I'm gonna sh shield our buddy here. He was not... He's taking more damage than I thought he should have. I don't know why he was getting hit so bad, but... Let's go ahead and... Let him heal up a bit. I love that AoE healing. It's so nice. Okay. Rumsfield. Oh, I like that name. It's a decent decent warrior name. Something about it works well. Revenant sh Shoulders of Defense. 11 Defense Plate Shoulders. Not the worst shoulders I've ever seen. Not the worst shoulders by any means. I'm halfway through the fanny packs. It's actually... It's better than I thought it was going to be at this point. Oh. Oh. Uh, whoops. How are we doing? We're okay? Okay, good. The Eye of Shadow. I need that. Which I don't really. But... Stop hitting me. <laughs> this guy's crushing my soul. Okay. Um, blazing fire guards. These are, aren't very, like, overly difficult mobs to kill, you know? But they've got their... They, they, they can deal their damage. They can be a little painful. While well, this guy is staying banished. Banished isn't one of the worst things. I remember in Molten Core, I don't know how many times I've had a guildy banish one of the fire elementals at the last second as we kill all the other mobs, and then we have to sit there for 45 seconds waiting. I remember that angering a lot of guild uh, officers in the guilds back in the day. Just just unnecessary banishing, and it just takes so long. Um, yep, I've got a video about a rogue soloing the Dark Keeper coffer. Really handy. Um, I used to do that on my road and sell the plus 20 fire res enchant for about 80g. I forget how much I sold it for. I think it was about 80g. It was significant money. When, you, when you're at that point where people are really trying to make headway into Molten Core and stuff, that enchant sells for a lot more than it should. Uh oh, guardsman. Yelling. Uh oh. We're being ambushed, folks. Kind of funny. Oh, he's wand. He, he's sorry. Dotted that one. I uh, I'm just gonna shield up <laughs> and do one of these, and we'll be fine. I mean, the, the warrior doesn't realize we're still in combat, though. <laughs> it's just like he's up there doing his little yell, and we're back here getting beaten to death. Okay, 11 of 20, not bad. Still got plenty of water thanks to that mage. <laughs> he, he banished the one the warrior shot at. I don't know why that's so funny. I, I can't tell you why, it, just, it was just unexpected silliness. Once again, good time can zoom out a little bit, take a little bit of appreci appreciation of Blackrock Depths. I do enjoy the uh, lava river underneath. It's really cool. I just... It's great. It really is. So anyway, we're going to scroll back in here. It's just... I really like being zoomed out like that, but it's just too much. Uh, it, it really can be too much when you're trying to see some detail in the fight. Uh, let's get our furbog suit back. Now, what are we going to pull first? Probably going to pull the emissary. I'll go ahead and drink again. These are three gold each, man. Last episode, someone mentioned that, and I was like, oh, I should probably not be spending those for this then. What does he have? A little 45 water. Ah. 
I'm gonna rebuff my inner fire. What else needs some buffing? I think we're good. Man, I just want to jump in this thing. Look at this lava. I'm, I'm so scared to even stand near the edge. It looks so cool. I just get scared getting too close. I'm always like, oh no. Oh, so over here, last episode we got stuck. This is where we could have jumped out, and this is where we got stuck. Um, but you can go through here if you unlock that bridge, or you can jump out this window and drop down here. I guess I should probably help the fight with the fight. And kill Lord Incendius. He's a fire elemental looking guy. Um, which one are we actually going for here? I don't know which mob we're actually trying to kill. <laughs> we're just going to split our DPS. That's, that's certainly the most efficient way to uh, kill stuff. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, I was distracted. But yeah, so we could have jumped out this window and ran down here and got the Lord Incendius off to the right, or if we had unlocked the Shadow Forge lock, we could go through here and continue on deeper into Black Rock Depths. None of us have the key, and I think to get to get the... I think... This Phineas Dark Vire, is that his name? Uh, I'm still not sure if I'm saying it right. That guy, when you kill him, he basically, I think he drops the key, or the, or the, the coffer itself has the key. One of those two, and then then you have the key, and then the next thing you come through, it's a lot simpler. So we have none of us have ran it yet, I think. So, or at least not ran it far enough yet. So we don't have the key yet. Okay. I don't want to run in this room needlessly, because there's a lot of mobs in here. Um, but I think off to the left, off the pole. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. I could drink, but I'm just gonna hang out here. What other fun things? Oh, is my sprite darter out right now? I don't think it's out. Let's get it out. Okay, summon sprite darter hatchling. Thank you. Quest text. Or spell cast text, whatever. Uh, wow, it's a lot of... Ooh. I am going to do something like this. And help everyone heal up a little. I'm sure I'm going to pull a lot of aggro from all this healing I'm doing, but, eh, it'll be okay. I can always shield myself. Is that the only mob left? Did we kill everything? Oh, I see. There's something sheep back here. So where'd that sheep go? There was a sheep somewhere, and I hadn't seen it. Another fanny pack. Cool. I think, did do only the dwarves drop? The fanny packs? I guess that makes sense, right? They're dark iron, so... 13 of 20. We're getting there. What does a quest even give me? I don't actually even know. A dingy fanny pack. I don't remember what the reward is from that. Like, what, what's actually inside of it? I'd love to go back to the Overmaster Pyron on the way out. That'd be great if we can do that. Heart of the Mountain. That'd be a cool one. I think only one person can loot this at a time, though. Maybe I'm wrong. And this one I can possibly finish. Actually, I don't know if we can. I don't know if the way we're going gets us into the... Um, the bar. Which I'm forgetting the name of the bar now. I always love the Barman Shanker. It's like a really great rogue dagger. Or main hand dagger. It's, uh, what is it? A 1.9 attack speed. It's really, really slow. Which means that the damage it deals is really high, so for like an ambush, it does a ton of damage for, uh, for a pre-raid weapon. It's really good in PvP, and pretty good in PvE. I think it might have like a... I don't remember what the, uh, the quest of the text is on the Barman Shanker. I'm gonna, oh, I was going to look it up, but we actually are engaged in combat, so let's not do that. Alright, which one are we shipping? Are we shipping in here? Oh, we got a patrol. That's scary. Well, I dotted everything, so let's start the healing process. <laughs> Alright, I'm, I'm trying to keep track of our healer. That's what I usually am trying to do, is just see what is our healer doing, and how is he... Oh, I'm, I need help. <laughs> I'm about to die. Actually, that's about to happen. I'm going to heal myself with a potion if needed, but I think I'm fine. That guy just reset. What the heck? What a glitch was that? That was annoying, to say the least. Uh, I think we're fine, it just... This guy's got dynamite still, I guess. Weirdo. 
Okay. Oh, I don't know. Is there... Okay. I'm worried I'm gonna, like, pull more mobs in a moment here. Not careful. Uh, Vampiric Embrace is probably doing a decent amount of healing. I, I don't actually have a tracker. Like, I do have my little DPS thing down here. Which I don't really focus on a lot, but... Okay, this... Oh, I was like, did I just reset again? No, it's just a feared mob. Out of range, huh? Let's see about that. Okay. Well, we survived that rather chaotic fight, which is great. A little bit terrifying, but it's nice when it works out. Alright, 15 of 20, cool. I think we're going to have to pull another pack to the right here. Is that true or am I wrong? We'll find out in a moment. So, I was mentioning this in the last episode, which is, like I said, a continuation. I'm sitting here at the same... It's been like 10 minutes since that last episode. Um... I have a Gatorade I'm drinking, and my wife likes to have their fridge really cold. She really likes cold beverages. The Gatorade literally froze. <laughs> she's not she's uh not home right now. I sent her a text like, "What do you what did you do to the fridge? It's, our Gatorade literally has a giant chunk of ice in it." She's like, "Oh yeah, it, that happens sometimes. Just shake it really hard and it'll break up." Well, I know how to break it up. <laughs> I was just joking around. It's not a big deal at all. It's just kind of funny. I was like, I opened it up and wasn't paying attention. Took a drink of it, and. Uh, it like like a tube of ice hit me in the face. It was narrower than the opening of the bottle. Anyway, sorry, little little side story of my life right now. Um, I'm gonna focus down this one here. Just put out the right target. But that's okay. Oh, we pulled something. Let's uh, let's get a sheep on that guy or uh, uh whatever you want to call it. Oh boy, I see a lot of stuff coming at us. Okay. I think the priest, is, the druid, is actually glitching them out right now. Which is kind of nice, in a weird, unexpected outcome type of way. Oh my gosh, more mobs. Sure, it's not everything, that's fine. I don't actually know what to... Okay, whatever. Let's kill this thing. I don't know what to attack, things keep resetting and running away. So I'm just gonna kill this one. Um, yeah. Okay, well, anyway, that's working well. We, we managed to kill uh, most of these? I don't know. That, that, how did that pack even... What, what do we even kill? I don't understand what just happened. It, it's so glitchy. I think I think it bugged out because this guy was up here, but it, it kind of worked out to our advantage. I think that pack bugged out. I would, of course it bugged out, but I guess I was going to elaborate. I'm not going to go into it. So there is a pack, I thought, over here, but maybe it's actually up the stairs, so we should be okay. I was worried we are going to pull this pack. I know, I'm like, oh, I'm worried I'm going to pull this pack, I'm going to go take a look over here. It sounds dumb, but I just want to see. It's actually farther back, okay, not so bad. I want to loot this thing. Can I do it without aggroing anything? Got it. <laughs> I just wanted to, uh... I wanted to loot it because I really wanted to get the fanny pack before anyone else did. Okay. This is an almost dead mob. Let's finish him up. I'm just going to have the wanding take care of him. And this thing should be nearly dead too. Okay, good. Can I step out here safely? Yes. Throw a dot on that. Fanny pack? No. Yes. Great. Good news. Oh man, we're definitely going to get all the fanny packs done. If I get one quest out of this done, I'll be happy. I wasn't... This is a quest someone shared with me. I didn't even have this quest originally. Now off to the right is the vault. And now I have mm, one key. Vault is to the right. Let's get that. At least get the named mob in there. Yeah, we should not be jumping yet. It's like over there and pinging the map in case they pay attention to my pings. I mean, we can jump. This is what we could have done, though, anyway. At the beginning, I was mentioning we could have jumped off that ledge. Um, I don't know why we're fighting this guy at a distance, but but it's just not... Um, it doesn't make sense to jump yet. We should finish what's up here. Now, we can jump and then clear around and come back up through this this hole here. Well, it circles around of this opening down here. There, It's like a loop. 
but it actually makes a lot more sense to just finish up here, then we can jump down and kill Incendius, and then we might be done. I don't I don't know exactly what people want to do from here. Uh, which one is he targeting? Okay. I don't actually know. Okay, I guess that works. I just didn't know what he was actually going to go after, but that's the one. So we'll kill- ooh, I got a nice crit. Um, <clears throat> yeah, he would be really nice. I'm going to shield myself up because I'm getting kind of beat down here a little more than I'd like. I'm Vampiric Embracing, but I don't really know if that was worth it. I guess it healed up about 200 health in a little bit of time it was up. I was a little bit late on that. Invulnerable Mail. This is a really fun piece of gear. Uh, when struck in combat, it has a 5% chance to make you invulnerable to melee damage for 3 seconds. This can only occur once every 30 seconds. But what a cool piece of gear. It has no stats and it besides armor. I guess it has increased defense 13. It's not actually that useful, but it is cool. It's 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 really more PvP gear, I would say. Now we do have Varric and Warder Stilgis here. Uh, these guys are actually... So this is, again, if you go to this Dark Keeper portrait and you open it, it'll tell you where the Dark Keeper is. It holds the Dark Keeper coffer key. <laughs> it's a tongue twister. And there's, I believe, six spawn locations. I do have a video on my channel that explains a little bit about the locations and how to solo this as a rogue. Uh, I guess I should drink. It's a cool thing to solo it. A druid can solo it. I don't think any other class can. I think just druid and rogue. I think druid can probably do it. Honestly, probably easier than a rogue can. Not totally sure on that, but pretty confident that's the case. Um... Now when you get in the vault, there's a bunch of things you can open with these keys that I was mentioning earlier. Unfortunately, I only have one key, and I think between us we have maybe four keys. I think you need eight or ten, so we're short on keys, unfortunately. Uh, what are we going to pull? Let's pull this guy. Want me to range? Oh, I guess he has a, a bow. Uh-oh. Uh we're just going to run in there? Don't do that. That's the worst idea. Whatever. I'll just blast everything. I interrupted the uh, the sheep on this because it was like a half dead mob and we were it had a bunch of dots on it. I'm like, I'm not gonna let it get sheep and healed up. That's silly. Why don't we just pull these guys from a distance? I don't really understand. In fact, why don't I have? I died earlier. That's why. Uh, find a treasure. You turn that on. We should definitely be pulling these two. Pull ads, then we'll do boss. Yeah, definitely pull the ads first. There's no reason to like sneak around here and mess this up. Good stuff. Yep, it's, it's such easy, easy kills too. Uh, oh, silence, nice. Good, good, good use of. Uh... I guess I have silence, don't I? <laughs> Uh, that was probably counter spell, not silence. I have silence. I forget I have silence. I don't use it very often. Two more fanny packs to go. Almost done. Okay. I'm pretty much ready to go whenever they are. How's my wizard oil? Eight minutes left. Okay. Yep. Let's do it. Uh, which one do we kill first? I don't think it matters that much. They're not that... Oh, I guess we're just going... Um, okay, huh. Varric it is. That works for me. I'm just gonna shield myself up and start nuking on Varric over here. Did I put a dot on this guy? I should have. There we go. Finally got a dot going. I am doing some good healing on us thanks to my Vampiric Embrace and... But first, Star. I did not pay attention to Star at all. <laughs> What for a start, uh, and I ignored it completely. Oh, whoops, I, I moved my hotbars around a little bit. I, I switched Mind Blast with Heal. I had Heal at 3, which is pointless because I never am in... I'm always in Shadow Form, so I can't even use it if I wanted to. Ooh. Pauldrons. Leather Pauldrons. They are Druid. Oh, Rogue Gear. Rogue Gear, I would say, yeah. Or Cat Form Druid. Okay. So, the Keeper is in... 
uh, the Grim Guzzler. Whoops. Grim. Okay, which one is it? Vorfolk is pretty far away. Oh, someone's got the... Oh yeah, we need the Dark Keeper key. So... Back here. The nameplate. Uh, it's one of six places. Open this thing up, then the nameplate appears. And there you go. Yeah, so there you go. You can figure out where the guy's at. We can't reach the guzzler. Yeah, I don't think we can, unfortunately. Um, I'm going to waste my key just to get whatever's in here because I want, I want the stuff. I don't know how soon I'll be back. There's some argument to keep your keys and not use them. Um, what the heck? Is there nothing there? Someone's going to open it and get all my loot, aren't they? It says on the nameplate... Like, if you read the nameplate, it literally says, Works the storeroom of the Grim Guzzler. It's it's not memory. I do not have memory of it all, unfortunately. So if you open up all of these, these things will reanimate. You kill them, and then, I think, something pops out of here after that, and then you can open this up. It's something along those lines. It's a little confusing to me because it's been a while. But it's something like that. I can't believe I couldn't even loot the thing that was in there. That was a bummer. Ah, I'm pretty sure... Huh. Didn't know that. Okay, so... Down we go. Phineas is over in this way. I'm gonna start re-buffing people. I got three people buffed at least. Uh, now what do I need to do? I need to drink. Yes. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna get Phineas. It's, I keep saying Dark Vire. I think it's Dark Vine. I don't know why I'm saying Vine. Those are some nice pants. Um, great healing pants. They would certainly be nice. I wouldn't probably use that headpiece over mine. Unfortunately, it's great stats, but I like spell power stuff more. Okay. We are fully buffed. I'm gonna drink. And we'll see how it goes from here. Um, okay. Let's... I could help, but I'm just kinda wanna drink. <laughs> so, I'm just gonna let that go. Uh, I'm kind of a jerk for that, but I don't know. They'll be okay. Their DPS can't be that bad, right? Here, I'll throw some wands on here. Ooh. Where did it even come from? What did we kill that dropped that? I didn't even... Oh, well, I guess this guy. Or th I want some more of my fanny packs. I just need one more fanny pack, so I'm going to ninja the crap out of these to make sure I get my fanny pack. It's just that it's, I'm too close to being done to not get, get the last one. Black diamonds. I do like forgetting all these. A little bench over here. Phineas actually patrols, if I remember right, doesn't he? Maybe I'm wrong. There is Phineas. There is Dark Vire. So it's not Vine. I was right. I bet people frequently call him that. Bloody Diamonds. Okay. Please, when you can. Bravo. Yeah, I need some arcane intellect in here. Uh, I guess we're gonna hit that guy. I'm gonna hit him with a six demon bag. Bam, lightning bolt to the face. Good stuff. Got the arcane intellect buff. We're good to go now. Oh, no, Phineas turns around right there. I didn't realize that. I should have just grabbed him. Should have just picked him. I didn't realize the patrol turned right there. Funny. Convenient for us, because we really would have had a pretty big fight uh, had he kept on pushing forward. Okay. Um, so we'll probably do Phineas, and then we can wait here for Phineas, kill him, then run back and jump down to Incendius. No need to clear here if we plan to quit at 
incendious anyway. Is Phineas really that tough? I don't remember him being that tough. It has been a while though. Um, I'm gonna throw a quick shield on our little buddy over there. I just dotted everyone and shielded up our druid and I think we're doing okay. Last fanny pack, all done. Great. That's good news for me. I'm super excited to get that. Oh, is there another guy in there? Oh, he is. Yeah, I, I knew there was a third one somewhere. I thought we killed him, maybe. Let's pull Phineas here. Once he patrols back. Yeah, so we just pull him once he comes back here. There's no reason to keep clearing. Are we done after Incendius? Or wanna go further? I don't know if we really can. I, I think we might be stuck here. Okay. Let's do this. Uh, sure, throw a dot. He is he doing AOE damage? It looked like someone else got hurt there, but maybe not. I actually don't know how we get back to the entrance after we jump down for Lord Incendius. Like, I'm not really sure. I don't remember the route. I'm sure someone else knows it, but I don't really know it. Easy kill. That was a really. I don't know why everyone was, why anyone said that was a tough fight. Unfortunately, as cool as this thing looks, which hold on, hold on. As cool as that looks, I mean, it looks really cool. It's just not really an upgrade for me. I mean, it, it is, but I'd rather have the shadow damage. And I, I guess, can I use for role play? <laughs> sure, go for it, bro. Okay, let's run back. Whoa, a need roll of 100. Solid stuff. So now we can. Oh, oh. Crap. I, uh. Ooh, whoops, my bad. I'm trying to line of sight these people. That was bad. Um. I. Whoops. <laughs> That was dumb. A good fear there, though. Okay, well, I dotted everything. That was terrifying. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, guys, a meme. That's that's fun. Oh, that was funny. I we're okay. I think. I'm still getting kind of beat on, but I think we'll be fine. <laughs> that was... I was like, oh, we can just jump right here. This is this where you jump from, this ledge, or, or the other side. I was like, oh, just jump right here. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's actually mobs there. I should probably not do that. My bad. So, uh, yeah, it's not so bad. You have a good group, though, and they can recover from, uh, you know, terrible, terrible decision making by someone. Just making sure y'all were awake. <laughs> I'd say we jump over here. Uh, where is that? But we can... Uh, Hurley Black Breath. Hurley is in the... Um, Grim Guzzler, I think. Part of the mountain requires the key from the Grim Guzzler. I, I don't think we could do any of those quests. I think we're completely... I, I'm, I'm really possibly misremembering this. But I think we need the Black... The Dark Keeper Coffer Key to get the heart of the mountain. And we can't get that key because the guy's behind where you need it. Uh, so I think... It sounds silly, but like sometimes I think you just get bad luck. You can't actually complete it without someone else that's already gotten the key. I think. Am I, am I like totally off on that? I really don't know. I may be just totally off base, but I, to my knowledge, we're stuck essentially uh, with this group. We, we like literally can't go further. Um, might be wrong on that, but we'll see. 
Um, at the very least, we can kill Lord Incendius, and then I guess we can try to go... Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. This is... Uh, we're here. We, we can clear all the way... Oh, God. We can clear all the way back through this. Actually. Yeah, we can clear back through here to get to Bale Gar. Um, which we could have done at the very beginning a lot quicker than this, so we're actually kind of really going out of our way for this. Um, but it, it should be okay. You know, uh, watch out for this guy's knockback. Someone's gonna get knocked back, and it's not gonna be funny. Well, it's gonna be actually really funny, but someone's gonna get knocked back. You really want to tank him against the Black Anvil, so like you want your back to that. As soon as a knockback, he doesn't shoot you out. Oh yeah, or um, the other question, the other suggestion is probably better is pull him over here. We can probably stay here, and we're probably fine, but you just want to be careful. Uh, I just, yeah, a little nervous about this. I'm staying back for sure. Uh, let's just focus on the nukes, I guess. Like, I'll just straight blast them with everything I have. Rather than, uh, ooh, Firestorm. Oh, Soulstone Resurrection, that's good. I forgot that I didn't have Soulstone up this whole time. I'm gonna re... yeah, good, good. Okay, I think Curse of the Elemental Lord. What does that actually do? Fire is massively reduced. Wow, gross. Alright, let's click the loot. What do we got? That's a good nature... Well, well, no, that's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. <laughs> it's nature damage, not nature resist. Uh... Yeah, that's, I mean, I guess you take that as a druid, but it's pretty bad. Uh, don't go that way unless you want to back. Let's clear behind us to go to Baelgar. Right? I, if I remember correctly. I hope that's correct. I mean, because I think, yeah, I think it's the way to do it. Uh, Someone is watching this at home, like, no, you're wrong. Uh, and I think I'm right. I think if we go the way back here, I think it sends us up to where we were just killing Phineas. It's really no point. But I really pull aggro. Nice. Some good stuff. Um, where do I turn in this quest? The good stuff. This gets turned in. I think this is at uh, Morgan's Vigil, if I remember right, in Burning Steps. I think that's what it's called. Um, so, we might be able... I, I actually, hmm, we might be able to sneak to the middle of these guys. I know at 60 you can. I don't know if you can at, what, 53 is the lowest level, which is me. I don't know if I can sneak through. It's worth a try. Wait, we can sneak. Uh, never mind. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we could have sneaked, snuck, snooked, because I could have cast... I always forget what it's called. Um, I need to find out here. We could have cast mines. Oh no, only for two more targets, never mind. Hmm. I thought it affects it affected more than that. Oh, we gotta kill this guy now. Um, we can definitely sneak past this pack up here. Which is nice, we can sneak a little bit. We're gonna go through this door, and then we're gonna sneak up further. We've gotta kill this, though. Oh, wait, what? That's weird. Mind Blast. One. Oh, Winter's Chills. Like, what is that debuff? Oh, yeah. He's Frostback, of course. And fairly high level Frostback, so it makes sense. We can sneak past this pack up ahead of Dwarves. Is it really just a single fire on the They're not linked? Interesting. I thought they were linked. Guess not. Ooh, nice crit there. So this is... Yes, if I remember right. This is where the gate closes. And uh, that one, if you flip the switch from last episode that we didn't sw flip, if you flip that switch, the gate closes. Um, uh, 
<laughs> Pro. <laughs> that was amazing. I was like looking as fast as I could. Oh, dear God. This is definitely going to be a wipe. <laughs> um... I actually don't know if I can do that this year. Did I just like not get in combat? Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, dear God. I don't know if this is going to work. Nope. Not safe. I should have died back that in that other room. Should have died in the room we were just in. Not ahead. Sorry. I don't think there's any. There's no way I'm gonna. Uh... Yeah, I guess I should have. I mean, that was that was dumb. Uh... Yeah, there's no way I'm gonna be able to res here. <laughs> I, I didn't know where the, the problem was. I didn't know where the pack was. I, like, I saw the aggroed onto him, but I didn't... I actually didn't realize there were two packs there. How many... Jesus. I didn't realize how many... There's two packs there. Um, yeah, I really messed that up. Actually, might be faster this way. It, it seriously might be a faster trip to Belgar. Um, uh, because... Oh, well, maybe not. It, it actually might be. It might be faster. If we had a key, we would be, it'd be way faster if we had the Shadow Forge key. Um, we could just go straight into the left and kill Bale. Since we don't have the key, we do have to go in a little bit farther, but I think it's still more convenient this way. I think it's still the way to do it. I think it's still going to be a bit faster. Yeah, that was a fail on my part. Um, so what I should have done there is as soon as that pack was pulled... Well, the problem is... Here's my train of thought. Um, I saw that we pull the pack from in front of us, and I was like, okay, we might be able to kill this pack, it'd, it'd be fine, we can kill one pack, right? Then we pulled the pack behind us, and I didn't realize we also pulled actually two packs in the front of us, not just one, I thought it was just a single pack at first. Um, if I had realized two, we pulled two packs, I probably would have ran backwards, but even then I don't know if I would have. I guess I should have, yeah. I mean, definitely I should have ran back. If I had ran back far enough out, I could have rest everyone pretty reasonably. The, yeah. It, it, yeah. I needed to run back and not forward. I honestly thought we had more sp And that's where, where I ran. I thought there was a pack directly behind the door, which there was, which is why we pulled it. But that's because it patrolled over there. So where I actually died was unfortunately very, very close to where they spawned. Or where their patrol path was still, so... Anyway, there was no way I was going to get through that door on that side to get back to the other side to res people. So I'm pretty severely messed that up. Um, on the bright side, we've got a pretty good group and they seem to be in pretty good spirits. So yeah, no serious harm done. And it's been a long time since I've jumped down here. I think I always like to do it this way. Like you just gonna go along the edge here, you can land on that. And if you do it right, you can land and slide down onto this. And then it's pretty convenient actually. Right? Not too bad. What is this quest? Uh, I, uh, uh, what is that quest called? I wish I'd grab that one. Um. Which I don't know if that's true. So anyway, we're now in the Grinding Quarry, which is just outside of Black Rock Depths. Um, there's so many quests in Black Rock Depths. There's probably 8 to 12 quests. Individual quest lines, I'd even say. Um, Iron Fell. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so I'd like to get Pyron. That'd be really cool if Pyron respawns out here. I mean, he spawns every... It's like a 10-minute cooldown. It's not very long. But it'd be nice if he respawns and we come out together and we can kill him. I'm gonna see if we can get Pyron real quick. Um, yeah, cool, so we're gonna get Pyron.
I don't have enough mana for that actually. Wow. I'm gonna drink in here real quick. I guess I might as well go out in case Pyron is up. Uh, who else needs buffs? Let's start passing around the buffs. I, I'd be really sad if the instance magically reset while we were in there. There's Pyron. Good, he's up. I wasn't sure if he'd be up or not. It's nice that he's up. I know I'm like burning through water here for no reason doing it this way, but it works. So have two more buffs to give out. Like I said, he's on about a 10 minute cooldown. It's not a lot, but it's long enough that it's a little annoying sometimes. Uh, okay, I'll just kill him real fast. Wait. I can, the next spell I cast reduced by 100%. That means I could even use that on Power Word Fort in the future. Keep that in mind. That's, like, actually very handy. Who else needs buff? Uh, this... Cool. Thanks all. Super convenient. Easy, easy. It, so it actually worked out pretty well. Uh, what else do I need? I guess I should drink some more and then, uh... Shadow form. Um, well, maybe I won't drink. We're all moving out. I'll follow him. Let's get the Sprite Darter. Okay, moving along. Thanks for watching. I actually don't know. Ah, yeah. Dang it. Okay, we can just go back to where that window was and jump down. Yeah, there is no easy way, is there? I guess you really can't get over there without the key. I'm so used to being a rogue and just being able to pick lock, lock pick everything. Pick lock, lock pick, pick lock. I don't know. Whatever. Lock pick lock. <laughs> uh, arcane intellect. Ooh, thanks. That's nice. Lock pick is so good. Or pick lock. I always flip around. This is the arena. Yes, okay. Ring of Law. I was called the arena, the Ring of Law. This isn't quite the. I guess this. Yeah, I guess you really do have to go this way. You really. Yeah, without the key. Hmm. Man, I wish we had the key. <laughs> It'd be. Oh, there are mobs around here somewhere, right? We not, not. Yeah, we need to go this way. Yeah, this way and jump out the window. We'll probably want to clear that pack that smoked us before we go any further. Okay. Where is that pack? Let's kill this pack to make space for the next pull. I think we're going to need to kill this pack. I, I think it's going to be a pain otherwise. I don't know if they know where we're going. I'm trying to let them see us. Okay, I think we're all good now. Cool. Alright, I'm ready when you guys are. Let's do it. Are we going to wipe here or not? Let's find out. I think we're going to be okay. What's he targeting? This... Okay, well, I'm dotting everything that isn't sheep. That's what I'm just going to do instead. Okay, solid. I just silenced the medic just to make sure that nonsense didn't happen. Or, or, she's, uh, or he's healing people. So we've got two quests. I'm not going to get these other two quests done. We, we have to get uh, the Dark Keeper Coffer Key for the Heart of the Mountain, I believe. And... I think so. Or we just need enough other regular keys. Uh, but I believe that's what we need. And then the recipe is stuck in the Grim Guzzler and we don't have access to it, unfortunately. So we won't be doing that. That's fine. I'm actually, I've had a lot, a lot of fun down here so far. It's been a great 
hour and a half I've been in here, I think. I kind of lost track about an hour and a half, um, which is about what I expect, about two hours maybe for what we're doing, just kind of running around. Boy, this guy's annoying. I wonder if I can time out, uh, there we go. I wonder if I can time out a Mind Blast. Okay. Oh, you know what? I wasn't in Shadow Form the entire time. That was weak. I always forget to go back into Shadow Form after I die. It's just something I forget about frequently. Turn on Find a Treasure. Okay. When we're done here, where do I need to go? Where, where do I need to go? I need to get to... Um... You know, I really want to go to Winter Spring. Bravo 2-0. When we're all done, are you able to make a portal to Darnassus? I can cover the cost of the creation. I don't know if he's trained it yet. I think it's like 54. For Darnassus portals are, and teleports are higher level. So I don't know if he'll have had it yet. It'd be really, really nice if... Or if she, I should say. If she had that um because the reason why is because we um okay thanks i have a quest in winter spring and that would save me a lot of time yeah so the reason is i've got the vadir elixir quest from really last episode i guess and it'd be really really nice if i could just get kind of booted straight over there Ooh, i have kill Rog. Fun. You know what else is fun? I'll show you a fun one. Uh, does this work? Let me see if I can do this. Mind. Make that eye again. I want to try something. Do it. Come on, Warlock. Oh my god. Is like is that gonna pull? I I hope not. That'd be terrifying. I do like being able to see through things. It is kind of cool. Imagine if you could play WoW as an elemental, like a fire elemental. That's the kind of elemental I'd want to play as. I think. I think that'd be awesome. But how do I stop channeling? <laughs> I was like, how do I stop channeling? Okay. I am ready. Let's do this, guys. There's two packs in there. Be careful. <laughs> Seriously. Okay. Going for the medic. Focus on the medic, for sure. I'm gonna get ready to silence the medic when I see it casting. I don't see it doing it yet. I think it was casting earlier, but I don't see it now. I'm going to see casting a heal, I should say. Oh, I blackout stunned it anyway, which is nice. Okay, dead. Perfect. Don't really know which target we're going for at the moment, um, but we're going to make this happen. Oh, why, why sheep like that? I don't quite understand the sheeping mentality here. It's like, we already had the mob half dead. Oh, I need to... Oh, I'm so bad at silencing. I should have silenced that mob boy sooner. Okay. <laughs> oh, I guess you can bubble even if you're silenced. I didn't realize that. I've not done enough bubbling in my life. I've never played a paladin. Literally never even rolled one. Not, not, even, not even level one paladin. Never touched one. Uh, maybe one of these days. Okay, hey, we survived. It's kind of a tough pull. Now, we've got... I think we can sneak along here. I'm trying to see what's the timer left on this person's soul stone. It'd be good to know. If soul stone is... Um, <clears throat> Excuse me, if Soulstone has a long timer, we might not. We're going to be less aggressive maybe with sneaking, right? If it's got a short timer, then we can be more aggressive. But I'm. 
I'm a little worried, so I want to mind soothe that guy over there. I, I think it'll be fine, it just makes me a little nervous. Um, I can mind soothe targets easily. When I mean, you saw that sneaking we did before we wiped, on that before we went through those gates, I was really close to those mobs and they were not at all a problem. Um, uh, it only lasts like 15 seconds though. That's a good sneak in there, folks. What just happened? Um, I don't know if I just messed that up somehow. I apparently did something there. Uh, did it resist my, my oh battle res? Oh my gosh, I'm up, I'm up. Um, where is the medic? Medic. Okay, there's medic. I'm going hard on the medic, that's the plan. I'm trying to keep our healer alive. Wait, where's the medic? I, I'm losing- oh my gosh, the medic's healing so much. I'm just gonna kill this guy at least. I'm doing so bad right now. I'm trying to kill a medic, but it's just like I'm not doing enough fast enough. Out of mana. Crap, that's bad. Uh, what do I have to do here? I can't do anything out of mana. Okay. Well. Um, dang it. Do we have any real chance here? Probably not. Uh, did, did I? <laughs> did I pull that? I don't know. I think I might have, but I don't honestly understand how that happened. So, I don't think Mind Soothe... I don't think Mind Soothe is supposed to be able to draw aggro. Like, even if it's resisted, I don't think it should. I think maybe... I need, I need to rewatch this video afterwards. I don't really understand if that was me that did. I mean, I so what happened is I had mind suit on two of the targets, and then on one of them I was like, oh, I'm worried it's gonna. Dr it's like it wasn't. It's like 15 second cooldowns pretty fast. Like oh, I'll recast it, um, because I want to make sure it stays up long enough while we all get through. And then the the next thing I know, as soon as I cast it, it aggroed. Uh, And then I cast it, and then it, um, yeah, that's probably a better plan. And then I cast it again, and then it instantly attacked. And I, I wonder if it resisted. I didn't see at the time exactly what happened, if it was a resist and that drew aggro, or if it did something else. Um, but yeah, I think Bravo's right. What we're doing here is, it's, it, honestly, to be fair... I've said twice, oh, let's sneak around this, oh, let's sneak around that, and then we wiped immediately after. Um, but I also kind of, like when I say let's sneak, my general assumption is let's sneak, but stay aware of, um, like, you know, like we may pull the pack, so just be ready. Uh, you know, it's always like sneak, oh, like, uh, what is it, the phrase, hope for the best, but prepare for the worst, right? Um, so let's hope for sneaking to work but if it doesn't be ready for it to be like okay let's sheep a target or whatever now um i i kind of am not exactly following that perfectly either so <laughs> can't really say too much uh, anyway i think we're gonna get through i think we can manage it this is a long hallway though. i mean it really is when you see how long we end up having to go through here it's it's a it's a trek to say the least um i do expect us to be able to succeed but it's going to take a little bit of work.
so we are moseying on along back here. Now there's actually, I didn't really think about it, but there should be. I'm skipping it is I guess what it is. If I do die back, back there, there's something we can talk to for a quest that I'm skipping by jumping down here. Um, I'll go back and talk to him some other time. Not in a huge hurry to go uh, find that guy. Kind of like to own up a little bit. It's like, oh, maybe sneaking wasn't the best. Okay. In we go. And so here's what I can do. Watch this. So if I cast Inner Focus and then look at that, a free power shield. I had never thought about trying that before. <laughs> Which is really, really nice. Uh, so anyway, let's man up a little bit, and I'm going to keep buff people as they come in. We're, we're beating people here, which is nice, because I'm taking that shortcut of jumping, and they're taking the chain and running. It's slower. Um, anyway, so it's nice, because then by the time they all get here, I'll hopefully be able to buff them up pretty efficiently. Anyone else stepping through? World chat is having a discussion about the abbreviation for dead mines. Is it DM or VC? People. Uh oh, respawns. Uh. That is a little scary. Let's. There's no one No one down here fears. I don't think I need to worry about fear war at all. I just need Bravo to get here. And then I'll buff Bravo up. I'm gonna heal myself while I'm waiting. So that, that dwarf is about 15 minutes ahead of the rest, apparently. All right, we should be good though. I think so. If this dwarf is ten or fifteen minutes from respawning, it like was ahead of the rest. Then, um, now that that's up, that means we've got less than ten or fifteen minutes before the next packs. So as long as we get through, I need to switch over to shadow form. As long as we get through this room without them respawning, then we're fine. We just and as long as we don't die again. <laughs> got a couple caveats, but I think I think we'll be okay. I think we can manage to make this happen. Uh, let's just book it though. Go, go, go. Sprite Darter Egg is up. I I have a feeling we're gonna, things are going to go well. Now, to be honest, this group's pretty good. We've done a pretty decent job on most of the bosses and the pulls and everything, right? The only problem was, like, I, like the guy said, when we started sneaking, it started to get a little bit ugly. Um, Unfortunately, it would probably be at Balegar by now if we didn't wipe twice and have to run back both times Which is the worst part about it, it wasn't even just like a, a simple wipe. It was a wipe plus not having a soul stone essentially either time um, Okay and the, I mean people are probably watching it's like oh my gosh, what are you doing? You were terrible at this game. Stop wiping your group. I, I That's the worst part. I feel guilty. I feel like both those wipes the first wipe wasn't my fault, but the failed recovery was pretty much my fault. If I had ran backwards, we could have recovered a lot quicker. The second wipe, I'll need to rewatch this. I, I think I did pull the aggro though. I, I think something happened with my um, mind thing. I, I'm forgetting the name of it suddenly, but uh, one sec, let me let's follow it down here. With what's it called? Mind, mind, mind. Mind Soothe. I think that was probably me, so... Just one pack. Now I was like, oh, there's two packs there. Wait, nope, just one. Okay. How to target the Medic. There we go.
I'll try to silence the medic too as I can. I'm gonna save this silence for near the end. Um, near the end of the attack, like when the mobs low on health, I think that's when I will try to silence it. Can I mind control any of these? Mind control to 47. I need a higher rank of mind control. Okay. So we are still, I mean, literally, we are here on the minimap. We have this entire hallway to clear to get to Belgar. It's not going to be pretty. And the only reason, the only reason um, we're going to be clearing a Belgar is help them on a quest, which I don't have, because the loot from Belgar, to my knowledge, isn't very good. Okay, I'm ready. Let's do it, guys. Let's do it. I guess I can mana burn, but oh, that's a lot of mana though, never mind. It has 10,000 mana, I'm never gonna burn through that. Okay. I am gonna throw a shield on our buddy there. And start trying to burn down. Okay, there we go, much better. Now the officer is second, I think. Is that correct? I don't know. We'll find out. Looking pretty good. Do I have a 16 bag up? Oh, I did. Nice. I fire blast that guy. Fireball. Something. I thought we were... I know he was sheep, but then I thought the plan was to kill him second. Um... I, I, yeah, I was not reading chat, obviously. Let's finish this guy off. Oh, got him. So we're not... So I guess we're keeping the officer sheep the entire time, which is fine. Ah, good. But my damage is good. I'm not really keeping track of it very well. Like, I'm not keeping track of other people, so I have no idea how it actually is. But... I'm glad it's doing decently. All right. So I'm doing more, only a little bit less than the level 57, but I'm doing more than Maledict. Cool. I don't really know what my DPS is. I mean, like, I know what my DPS is. This is my DPS from my most recent fight. But I guess I could. Now I'm kind of curious. What happens if I. Um, I'm kind of curious about just leaving this. It sounds a little bit awkward and kind of ugly. But now I'm curious. What is my DPS? What, what is damage in, damage out, all that good stuff? And let's um, pin the window so I don't move it around. It makes me curious. There's dogs to the right. Let's not get mugged by those. Let's actually move this over here. A little bit more out of the way. Okay. Ready. Got the medic targeted. Let's do this. Alright. Are we going? Let's not pull the dogs over there. Wait. Why is the medic sheeped? That was not supposed to happen, right? Are we sheeping? Uh, there's no way we're sheeping medics now. I'm 100% sure that was a mistake. What? What are you doing? I don't understand. I'm so confused. I don't... I'm so confused with this pull. <laughs> I swear this is not... That's, that's not the order of how things supposed to work, but... Um, whatever. We'll let it go. <laughs> I have no idea. Um, I just wasted my clear casting on inner fire on myself. That was a mistake. Um, I'm gonna... Yeah. I get really confused there. I... Uh, right, the warriors. <laughs> Sorry, I'm like talking to myself here. Um, for a few reasons, because I just like wiped out confused. But... It's fine, we're all good. I just, yeah, I was like, there's at least a couple of times I saw the medic was getting sheep. I'm like, what's going on? That's supposed to happen. 
Anyway, um, I'm gonna drink after this guy. Cool. I'm gonna... Where's my drink? So I'm gonna do some options. Open options. Uh, display... I don't care about max. I don't care care about time. I don't care about class. Outstanding. I don't care about total. Uh, what else do I care about? What is this? Like that. We're pulling. Okay. Wasn't quite ready, but that's fine. Make it happen. Um... What else am I looking for? Um, I want to show, like, only... I don't want to show mm, bad guys. I just want to show our stuff. I, like, I, you know, what I'm trying to do is get rid of this stuff. I don't care about what the bad guys are doing in damage, right? It doesn't make any sense uh, to worry about that. Is there a way to stop that? I don't know how to do that. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Show gauges? Yeah, gauges are nice. Let's, let's leave that on. Hmm. Only friendly combatants. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Okay, sorry. Much, much better now. The, uh... A little, a little busted, but that's okay. What if I pull this up here? And minimize, and reopen. I think I kind of broke it, but... <laughs> Whatever, uh, it's fine. We'll leave it be. Okay, that's that's super glitchy now. But, uh, oh well, it'll. I need to like reload my UI, I think. But I, I don't want to do slash reload UI. We've got a soulstone buff up. That's good. Um, okay, I think we're good. We're good. Now, what are we pulling this guy? Okay, it's pack. Rather. Dot. Insert. Dumping out the damage. Let's put a shield on me since I'm apparently taking a lot of damage all of a sudden. <laughs> Let's shield myself because I don't want to die. Alright, this is looking pretty good. I think we're good. we got this pull down just fine. As long as I don't get mugged too hard too hard here. How many drinks do I left? Six, I should be fine. I'm just wanding at this point, because yeah. These guys do a cleave. I know I shouldn't stand in the cleave. I am not trying to stand in the cleave. Um Alright. One more mob and we're all good. That's, those pulls go much better when you have a little bit of strategy to them, as uh, our buddy was trying to suggest. I did cast the silence. This guy doesn't matter because he will always. Ooh, did we pull that? Or okay. I'm just kind of wand while he's invulnerable. I hate paladins so much. And the DPS isn't too bad. Out. Yeah, not bad at all. Feels good keeping up with someone that's a few levels above me, but I'm, I'm honestly pretty well geared. I mean, it really is some solid gear I've got going for me. Oh, that's immune. Why am I wasting mana? <laughs> I'm dumb. Anyway, I've got some pretty decent gear altogether. I mean, really, I've got a lot of shadow damage. Like, significantly more shadow damage than probably mo or spell damage than most people at my level. So that's really kind of an unfair advantage, or relatively solid advantage compared to the average person. Now, I guess, yeah, another pack here. Gosh. Um, mana. Need mana bad. Yeah, that, that DPS thing. I don't know why I broke how I broke my damage meter. But, that's okay. At least now it's what I want, right? I want um, damage taken, damage dealt. Oh, I should show, like, healing. That'd be cool. Open options. Display. Uh, heals? Are we fighting this guy now? I guess we are. 
Yeah, let's do heals too, that's cool. Damage out. Out, okay. It's yeah, it's a little busted. What can I say? It's like something like this is roughly where it's at. <laughs> I broke it. Um We're pulling stuff for practice now. This is vanilla mentality. We can stay here and pull right side packs back. Or just clear all for practice. <laughs> well, sure, let's just practice, because that sounds fun. We're just a bunch of nerds <laughs> practicing our pulls. Uh, there's actually two medics here. That's a big problem. We should probably have sheeped that medic, but that's fine. I need to definitely kill this medic, like ASAP. I mean, seriously. I need to kill the medic. I will silence the medic if I see it's casting. It looks like someone else just silenced it, which is nice. Or counterspelled it. Okay, dots. And I'm not going to dot this one, it's almost dead. Yeah, not worth the dot. Would have been a total waste. There's really no reason to sheep this guy, I think. I, I mean, I'm not in the opinion that it's worth spending the mana sheeping when something's that close to dying. It, it really just seems like a waste to me. Just my two cents. Uh, you know, I don't think it's worth it. I need some more water soon. Uh, could I get some more water, please? Yeah, that's not a bad pull for having two mages. Sorry, two medics. Uh, maybe that's what they meant by practice, actually. Swashbuckler shoulder pads of the whale. I used to be in a guild called of the whale, and it was one of my. It was probably my favorite guild almost of all time. It was on a PvE server, and they were some of the nicest people I've ever played with, and they were so funny. The guild still exists, as far as I know, but I am not really a participant in the guild anymore, unfortunately. But they're a nice group of people. I totally butchered this add-on down here. Um, my damage was actually trailing the mage there pretty significantly, but my heals. I was second best healer. So... Yeah, so this is heals, this is damage in, this is damage out, this is DPS. Alright, Balegar is way down there. I don't think we'd see him yet, even. I hope we just pull these packs on the side and don't clear both sides such a long. Is the dog solo? Kind of looks like he is. Nice. Someone is saying the dog solo. I don't know, is it? But it seems to be. Okay. Great. Alright, let's get this going. Focusing the medic. As much as I can, as always. Now this highway here, the Dark Iron Highway, I hate this highway. I mean, I don't hate it, but it's a painful highway to clear through. I mean, it really is. Uh, oh, I don't want to stand in that cleave. That's not good. Okay, I'm just going to nuke this guy down. I'm, I've also got some healing going from him, um, which is good for everyone, I think, involved. I'm going to stand here. I'm going to shield myself. Are we just splitting DPS again? I probably are. That's fine. Generally, if we're splitting DPS, it's, it's at least half my fault, where I'm probably just... Uh, Where did that guy come from? I was like, huh, I didn't, I didn't pull that guy. No, I forgot he was the, the sheeped thing that we had all along there. So, let's do this. What we need to be doing also, as best we can, is avoiding the cleave. And I, I know I'm not one to talk. I've been standing in the cleave this whole episode. Uh, but generally, I'm trying to avoid that cleave. Uh, it's not, it really isn't the worst thing ever, but yeah, it cleaves. It's a little painful. We're only about, uh, what was that, maybe 17, 16, 17% away from leveling up? Um, no, no, sorry. Yeah, I guess it's about right. Each of these bars is about 5%, so it's a 10, 15, 16, 
16, 17%, yeah, not too bad. I'm excited to ding soon. I hit 54, we get some new skills. I don't know exactly what you get at that, but... Oh, we're going, we're going. Look, that's about a dot there. And let's dot this other pack. Or the other guys, things, whatever you want to call them. Silence that real fast, because that was about to get a little ugly. If it started healing, if there's two medics and they start healing each other, it gets pretty scary pretty quick. Good. Okay. I'm well, not doing bad. So this highway, though, it's a really long highway, and we still can't see Balegar. He will pop up down there. He's a giant... A molten giant. I was going to say a giant molten giant, but he's actually just a giant. Uh, or rather, he's just a molten giant. Uh, he's a big dude, to say the least. That pack kind of split weird. It didn't pull the other soldier, which is... I'm not complaining. Don't get me wrong. But it definitely split a little weird. What is... What is oh, we just pulled the dog. So what is going on over there? I'll take out the dog while we're waiting for the uh, paladin scumbag to do his paladin -y bubbling things. What a jerk. Not only does he bubble, he also flees. Okay. Looking pretty good. How am I doing? Yeah, so it's kind of fun to track my da damage over here. I um, am a little behind the highest level person, but my damage is good overall. Um, I mean, I think so. For being a 53 and that's a 57, it's not a huge difference, but three levels. It's a, and a few levels of skills in there. That does add up. So it's nice to at least know I'm, I'm competitive, right? I'm, I'm not worthless down here. Okay, where are we going? We can skip that mob. Uh, straight ahead is Bale Gar. Can't see him yet. Yeah, let's not clear both sides. That'd be great. <laughs> I don't really don't want to. It's so much. I just can't. He, he's right there. I swear he is, folks. Um, he's just out of vision. Just barely. So, yeah. I think. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Stunned the uh, medic. It's kind of fun. I'm just dotting everything else at this point, which isn't really much else. That medic died fast. Let's take out this one. The good thing is the medics are fairly squishy, right? As long as you can keep them from healing repeatedly, you're in pretty good shape for the most part. And they're not really too bad. Um, I guess this is going to probably... Okay, it's like, oh man, it's going to cast, isn't it? Now, what am I... Yeah, it's not that guy. I was like, what else is down here? I almost missed this guy. I knew there was something. Didn't quite see him. So, Bailgar was still... I can't believe we can't see him. It's just so funny knowing he's right there. Like, if you, I could imagine if you were here, and it's the first time you ever were in this instance, and you had no idea. Um, I'm just going to pull a little guy. Because he's just a single mob, it'd be worth just getting him real quick. I, I don't see why we shouldn't, you know? Um... Anyway, so what I'm saying is it's crazy imagining you're just like clearing like you're like, oh, I wonder what's up ahead, and then all of a sudden it's like, whoa, a giant spawn. It's like, it doesn't spawn, but, you know, comes up into vision. Um, grave 2-0, can I open tray for water? Can I open tray for water? I don't know what have I spelled. Oh, Bravo 2-0. I keep thinking it's Brave. I don't know why I was saying Brave 2-0. Yeah, I need water pretty badly. Hey, I had the DPS lead on that fight. That's fun. It's I like resetting after each fight. <laughs> I'm just having a little bit of fun there. Uh, thanks. Okay. Let's grab our medic. I'm a little scared about that, but we'll, we'll be careful. At least I'll be careful. I'll try to be careful. <laughs> Try not to mess up everything like it was previously. Okay, we've got all the dots rolling, which is perfect. I 
think. Uh, now let's just kill this guy. If we kill this one quickly enough, we'll be good. Okay, nice. I know I'm saying a lot of the same things for each of these pulls, but like it really is just, it, it's kind of nerve-wracking in a, in a fun way, but it is a little nerve-wracking. That, that, oh, I was like, we gotta, I'm standing right in the middle of this mess. Uh, let's focus this one down. Um, it's a little nerve-wracking, some of these guys. Like, they just, they just these pulls are a little scary. We've wiped enough times already, I'm, you know, sort of terrified. <laughs> Not extremely terrified, eh, but modestly. Okay, that guy glitched out, which is strange. There is Bailgar. He's not quite as big as I remember him, but there he is. Uh, let's just pull this guy. Yeah, there we go. Okay. I will say, having the DPS meter up makes me more proactive about wanting to do a lot of DPS. Now I'm like, oh, I'm going to be top DPS every pull now. And it's just, it, it's good in a way, because it means I'm, you know, being a little more helpful, maybe killing more things, but at the same time, a little bit unnecessary, possibly. And I'm burning through mana fast. I think we're going to have to pull these guys. I don't think we can ignore them. But once we pull them, I, there might be a pack on the right. I don't, maybe, is there? Yes, there's a pack on the right. So let's kill this pack. There's a, two medics, okay. And then after this pull, we got one more pull, then we'll do Bail Gar, and then I'm hopefully going to get a teleport out of here. Um, yeah, I'm hoping to get a teleport to Darnassus. I don't think we're going to... Um, are we going to end at Bail Gar? I'm not sure what else we can do without the key, anyway. Yeah, but it'd be nice to see. Yeah, I'd be happy to end here. It's been a pretty long end since we've been in here for about two hours now, and we've killed you know a handful of bosses, and I don't think I got any loot. But my bags are getting full. <laughs> my my uh, I have managed to let's do this. Let's put a little heal on this guy. Our vampire can brace on him. Okay, yeah, uh, where's the other medic? There it is, okay. I was cycling through things and kind of lost track. I'm gonna heal myself, or rather, uh, keep a bubble on myself for a moment. While our healer hopefully heals me. We'll see if that actually happens. <laughs> now, the healer's been doing well, by the way. I don't mean that as a complaint, but, you know, sometimes things get lost in, in the chaos of the moment. And, uh, people don't always heal as much as they would like. That's okay. It happens. Um, our druid is getting whacked on by the, the big scary guy in the back. I'm not gonna really do anything about that. I, I can throw a bubble on our guy, but I'm gonna let it go for now. I'm just, like super out of mana. <laughs> I am manaless. Just wanding this guy now. Did I really burn through all my mana on that fight? I did. Jeez. One more pack ahead on the right around the corner. And we can pull Bale. Big Bale, yeah. Okay, second on DPS that time. Fun, fun. Okay, so if I drink. Then, yeah, over here. Is it, is it, maybe it's two packs. I think just one pack, though. Okay. I want to scoot up a little. I want to see what's going on around the corner. Yeah, just the one pack. I think it's safe to pull that pack and fight it here. I think it should be fine. I mean, we could honestly probably pull Bale safely, but I mean, reasonably safely, but I feel much better if we actually just go over here and clear these guys. I, I think it's definitely the, the, the reasonable way to go about things. Um, someone in the guild sent me when I was level 60, uh, what are they called? Things that are for learning, like, Prayer of Shadow Protection or whatever. That's really nice. I'm happy to have that. I just accidentally Vampiric Embrace instead of... Oh, I mean, that worked, that worked, I think. I'm trying to... Uh, yeah, I was gonna say, I'm trying to get out of the way so I don't get a bunch of, uh... I'm gonna shield a friend over here. I'm trying to get out of the way so I don't get a bunch of extra stupid cleaves hitting me in the face, but... 
kind of getting hit um, anyway, so got a rebuff after this before the boss. Yeah, I just want to make sure everyone's on the same page. I'm sort of tuning out this fight. I'm not really paying a lot of attention. I'm actually going to die if I'm not careful. Oh my god. Trying to get out of the way. Yeah, I just died. That's okay. It should be fine. Uh, I don't think we're going to really need... I think the soul stone is kind of running low anyway. I believe. Maybe not, but I think so. So I don't think I had a lot of time left on it, regardless. I'm just going to mind play this guy a few times. And like I said, I need to rebuff everyone anyway, so... Oh my gosh. That skippy jerk. Please just don't pull the boss. Like, all I wanted was to not pull the boss. <laughs> I was like, let's don't do that and we'll be okay. Okay. Uh, gotta drink and port buff. Can I get a fresh AI? Okay. I'm just gonna sit until all my mana's up. Oh man, I'm so excited to get through this instance as well as we have. I mean, I know we wiped a couple times. I've died three times, I guess, total now. But not a bad, like, for them, it's slow. I mean, it was slow going, but I had a lot of fun. No one, everyone was pretty nice. Um, nothing super terrible happened, as far as I can tell. Um, I think got a, a couple people got some loot. I've gotten at least two quests done. I think together, all together, we've gotten, people have gotten at least two to three quests done each, which is nice. So, I, you know, when you're talking about an instance like Blackrock Depths, you're going to come down here at least two or three times to get through everything minimum. It's a pretty good, pretty good run we had, I think. Uh, let me try having enough mana. Okay, now everyone's fully good and all that. I, I don't think there's a fear in this guy, but I'm kind of worried there might be. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put a fear word on our big guy. Now let me drink one more time. It's like the third or fourth drink. And this will be the last step. Once we... Uh, once I get my mana, um, I think I'm good. Any tactic? I don't know if it's a tactic on this guy. I feel like he's kind of a tank and spank. Um, does he have a fear? Put fear ward on the tank just in case. I'm good on mana. I think I'm good. Yeah, we're good. I want to loot this guy that would work for you. Okay, let's let our tank get some aggro. Oh, never mind, I saw the other guy went ahead and started doing more dots, so I'll just go ahead and do some more dots too. And I think that's kind of it. We're just gonna nuke him. Hope that works. Whoa, oh my gosh, what did he just cast on us? That was terrifying. Uh, I don't know what he just did. I'm gonna heal up myself though. Uh, I don't know what's going on at all. As none of this fight works, as far as I recall. I do not remember this fight whatsoever, apparently. Um, they don't do a lot of damage, whatever these things are, at least. We don't have any AoE, though, do we? Um, <laughs> this is horrifying. Uh, I kind of want to loot this guy. I don't have any mana, this is bad. <laughs> I just, I don't remember these at all. It's been a long time since I've done this fight. I don't recall this, but he did like some sort of weird AoE. I don't know. And then it like summoned these spawns and, oh god, that was horrible. <laughs> that was really scary. Oh, geez, terrifying. Okay. What's he got? Lava Crest Leggings. They look kind of cool. Ish. Nothing I need. There's your Bravo 2-0. Portal to Darnassus still would be super helpful. Assuming we are done now. So are we done? I don't actually, I mean, I don't mean to like rush people out. I don't really know where to go. That This is cool. Thing here, but might as well drink while I'm hanging out, but okay. 
So we're going to call it, looks like, because we're losing at least the Warlock, and at this point I don't know where else to go. So that is kind of lower Black Rock Depths. Um, not all of it, um, a good chunk of it, a good, good chunk of it. I'd call it lower, but more like... Um, someone's going to click that on accident, and I'm going to laugh. Later all, take care. Let's toss a, a quick buff to our mage friend there. Cool. That's really convenient because we do need to go to um, Winter Spring. This gets us much closer than if we were in Iron Forge. It gets us on the right continent, at least. Anyway, that is all for today. That was, oh, that was our final DPS. I don't know if that was for that fight or not. Um, is that really our DPS for that fight? I feel like I was really, really bad if that's the case, but not... Oh, you know what? It was probably because of a lot of AoE there, too. I, I, Maledict was doing uh, Hellfire, drew a lot of AoE damage. Thanks again, all, and take care. Well, so that's going to be everything. That was a lot of fun. I really had a good time with that, and that was super fun. Um, let's minimize this back down. I don't need the big thing right now, and lock the window. Okay. So next time we're going to head back to Winter Spring where we will talk to Denova because we're working on the Vadir Elixir quest still. We've finished it. We're down to Frost. We finished it. We have not, not turned it in yet, so we need to do that. Yeah, this is what I was talking about, the Prayer of Shadow Protection Codex, which is really handy. So I'll have good use for that at some point. But let's remember, where's the portal out of here? I always forget. There it is. Uh, so I'm going to fly over to Winter Spring to Everlook, and that's where we'll pick up next episode. Anyway. That's everything for today. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.